So Johnny Depp has just won himself a massive victory as the Disney-backed Vice Media that decided to attack him has just collapsed and big time. Isn't it amazing that they just did a hit piece teaming up with Amber Heard's lawyer, Elaine Bredehoff, while getting out the cup, jangling around saying, please God, let somebody buy us. And make no mistake, they've been targeting Depp for years, by the way. I mean, Refinery29, that's where I.O. Tillett Wright, one of A.H.'s best friends, wrote one of the very first hit pieces going after Johnny Depp. Now, he's making $20 million, and they're begging for peanuts. I mean, they can't stand this stuff. You and I, we're going to talk about this one today, too. Oh, man, this this really is fun times. This is fun times indeed. All right, so hey there to all you fine folks on this fine day, by the way. I hope you were doing excellently, man. Talk about wrecking yourself. I mean, the Depp wins, they just keep rolling in. As this has happened now to three or four different outlets, as Vice Media, they just dropped a 44-minute hit piece on Depp, and guess what? The next day, hey, they're laying off hundreds of people because they're collapsing. Now, this is all confirmed in a leaked email telling the Vice team, hey, you guys, you're going to get laid off. We're going bankrupt, but maybe... Maybe here's a little bit of false hope. Yeah, if the Disney-owned company here had made better decisions, maybe they wouldn't have targeted Depp thousands of times. Who knows, right? But check this out. Quote, Dear Vice Team, as we navigate the ever-evolving business landscape, we need to adapt and best align our strategies to become more competitive in the long term. So they're telling you, we're going to fire people, we're going to close down, we're going to stop publishing certain ways. After careful consideration and discussion with the board, we have decided to make some fundamental changes to our strategic vision advice. We create and produce outstanding original content true to the Vice brand. However, you always like that there, however, it is no longer cost effective for us to distribute our digital content the way we have done previously. Moving forward, we will look to partner with established media companies to distribute our digital content, including news, on their global platforms as we fully transition to a studio model. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. Quote, as part of this shift, we will no longer publish content on Vice.com, instead putting more emphasis on our social channels as we accelerate our discussions with partners to take our content to where it will be viewed most broadly, aka they can't get people to pay for subscriptions on Vice.com. Why? Because they've been attacking those people. They team up with people like Amber Heard, who the world recognized as a monster, as the person that kept accosting, but they kept going again and again, and they attacked anyone that disagreed. So now they're saying, yeah, we hope we can team up with Netflix before we fail. I mean, essentially, that's what that says. Way to go, Disney. Way to go. That didn't work out, did it? Now, then they write this in about Refinery29, and I love the fact that companies like Disney fell on their investment investments with places like this. Why? Because Refinery29 was one of the first places to go all out and try to destroy Johnny Depp. They teamed up with a co-conspirator of Amber Heard way back when the first stuff came out almost seven years ago. And if you look back at those articles, they don't match up with the new narrative. So this, yeah, this is interesting. Check it out. Quote, separately, Refinery29 will continue to operate as a standalone, diversified digital publishing business, creating engaging, social-first content. As you know, this is where it gets interesting. We are in advance discussions to sell this business, and we are continuing with that process. We expect to announce more on that in the coming week. Then come in the firings and the violins. And before you say, man, that's terrible, that umbrella guy. Remember, this company didn't just take aim at people like Johnny Depp. They took aim at people like yourself and myself. They would have taken away 
everything that we had, and ultimately, that meant that nobody would back them. So, sayonara, see you, but check this out. Quote, with this strategic shift comes the need to realign our resources and streamline our overall operations advice. Regrettably, you know it's going to be bad there when that comes up. This means we will be reducing our workforce, eliminating several hundred positions. So, just like that, I mean, boom, hundreds of jobs are gone. And again, it's because of these types of decisions by management, which were made by many of the people that are now being let go. Now, then they say this decision was not made lightly. And I understand the significant impact it will have on those affected. Employees who will be affected will be notified about next steps early next week, consistent with local laws and practices. Now, this next part feels particularly poetic, considering this is a company that so many built up to destroy people's lives in a blink of an eye. So, when they lose, everything. What do you think happens? They move on in a sentence. That's right. Your valued commitment, it was worth the sentence here, and their financial partners, they agree. What a great message for places like Disney. Again, the wins, they just keep piling up for a death. Listen to this here. Quote, I know that saying goodbye to our valued colleagues is difficult and feels overwhelming, but right there, they're transitioning out of that. So not even an entire sentence spent on, well, we like those people, but hey, we're going to flip the page. But this is the best path forward for Vice as we position the company for long-term creative and financial success. Our financial partners are supportive and have agreed to invest in this operating model going forward. So they're saying, yeah, Places like Disney, the people that give us money, sayonara, sucka, you've been doing hit pieces for them well. You were never winning, so you're out. Amazing, isn't it? I mean, it's been five days since they launched this preview of their hit piece, teaming up with Elaine Bredehoft and Amber Heard, plus... One day since they launched their overall hit piece, 20 minutes of 44, dedicated to going after Depp. And guess what? They fall apart. Who could have predicted it right? Maybe, maybe everybody. I mean, this, this is so deserved. But anyway, let me know what you think about this stuff. And as always, appreciate the heck out of you. I mean, you make this stuff work. I can't say that enough. I mean, this... This has been absolutely amazing to watch play out. Let me know what you think about all of this stuff, too. Make sure you leave comments here. Also, share this everywhere so everybody knows yet another place has fallen in the last two years trying to promote this. Ah, welcome to 2024, too. I mean, we are just into February and the fun times. Ah, they just keep getting better.